Good morning to you all. Welcome to today's Healing Minute from Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. I'm Tracy talking to you from Spain, but wherever you are, thank you for making the time to join us, whether you're watching us live or on Catch Up, and an extra special warm welcome to any newbies that have joined us today. And thank you all for your healing thoughts. It's been 13 days since I fractured my rib. Um, but I'm feeling much better, day by day, it's improving, so it's brilliant. And my elbow's getting a bit better as well. <laughs> well. These things are set to try us, are they not? So today's theme is music as a healing agent. Later on, I'll read an article from the University of Wisconsin's organization, the UW Health Org, where Dr. Sheila Milgrain gives us a concise explanation on the healing power of music. And what better music to listen to in preparation for the healing minute than Om Bhagavad by Suda. She's from the album Shanaham, beautiful album. Her beautiful soothing voice is sound therapy, definitely. Om represents the whole of the basic phenomena of sound production by the human voice and is the matrix of all sounds. It is said to denote, denote the whole range of words that can be made. And Bhagavan means the divine God. And as part of our preparation, we will start with some lovely relaxation. So I do hope you're somewhere comfortable, if you wish, or wrapped up nice and cosy. Please shut your eyes if it's safe to do so. Park all thoughts to one side and clear your minds of any worries or concerns. Bring your awareness to the breath. Remember the air we breathe, we share. It unifies us and connects all life on earth. We cannot see it, it's invisible, but without it there'd be no life. So breathe in this invisible life force, this healing energy. Fill your lungs and feel the life it, it gives you. As you breathe out, Release all your personal stresses. Then take another deep breath in and inhale, allowing it to flow through your body. Breathe down through your head. Relax your eyes, your jaw, your neck. Breathe down through your shoulders, through the arms to the hands and out through the fingers. Now another deep breath, breathing all the way down through the body, all the way down through to your base, down the legs to the knees, down through to your feet and out through the toes. Now give them a wiggle. Now visualize yourself in your special place or time on this beautiful day. 
And wherever you are, enjoying a few minutes in your little bit of paradise, we'll begin our attunement for the healing minute. We give thanks we're gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. In Harry Edwards' prayer, May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness. Protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious in their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men. Light is now anchored on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, Love has come forth into the hearts of men. Love has returned to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, purpose is guiding the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the centre which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out, is cleansing and is cleansing harmful energies. Love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. Now for the distant healing. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We request healing for their family, friends, and people for whom they've requested distant healing. And that includes all the animals as well. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. 
and our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to all our friends in spirit. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's just cover the notices so that everyone knows what's going on. So this Thursday um, at two o'clock, we have a guided meditation with John Phillips. That's both on Zoom and Facebook. And then on Sunday, on September, I'm oh, sorry, on <laughs> Sunday at two o'clock, we'll be holding a Sunday service with Doreen in the chapel, which everyone's welcome to attend. Please let us know if you'd like to do this because we're obviously looking at the numbers and making sure it's all safe. Um, unfortunately, we can't have it on Facebook on this occasion, but we're hoping to be able to do that in the future. And on the 28th of um, September, Tara is going to be holding another one of her wonderful gong baths at the sanctuary. They're also well attended. It'd be well, lovely to see you all there. And then the Cygnus Cafe on Wednesday, the 29th, welcomes back Candice uh, Kadik, an author, spiritual teacher and angel communicator. And that's going to be both on Zoom and Facebook. So details of all the events taking place at the Sanctuary are on Facebook and our website page. Please contact Healing Reception to book a place if required. So while researching for today's topic, I came across three articles in three consecutive healer magazines published in 1955 on music as a healing agent by Horace Leaf. He's 1886 to 1971. He was a well-known British lecturer and author in the cause of spiritualism and psychic research. His own psychic abilities included clairvoyance, psychometry and healing. Leaf traveled extensively meeting most of the important mediums in North America and regularly contributing articles to such spiritualist journals as Light. However, it was far too much to read out for our healing minute. But I found this article from the University of Wisconsin's organization, that's the UW Health Org, where Dr. Shyla Mirgen explains it more concisely. So this is the healing power of music. So a Madison Wisconsin's quote, it's been called many things, the universal language, a great healer, even a reflection of the divine. While there's little doubt about the power of music, research now shows us just how powerful it can be. Across the history of time, music has been used in all cultures for healing and medicine, explains a health psychologist, uh, Sheila Migain, PhD. Every culture has found the importance of creating and listening to music. Even Hippocrates believed music was deeply intertwined with the medical arts. Scientific evidence suggests that music can have a profound effect on individuals. From helping improve the recovery of motor and cognitive function in stroke patients, reducing symptoms of depression in patients suffering from dementia, even helping patients undergoing surgery to experience less pain and heal faster. And of course, it can be therapeutic. Music therapy is an established form of therapy to help individuals address physical, emotional, cognitive and social needs, says Mirgain. Music helps reduce heart rate, lower blood pressure and cortisol in the body. It eases anxiety and can help improve mood. Music is often in the background just about anywhere we go, whether at a restaurant or the store but may again offer some tips to help use music intentionally to relax, ease stress, and even boost moods. Be aware of the sound environment. Some restaurants use music as a way of subtly encouraging people to eat faster, so there's a greater turnover. If you're looking for a location to have a meeting or even a personal discussion that could be stressful, keep in mind that noisy environments featuring lively music can actually increase stress and tension. Use it to boost your energy. On the other hand, when you need energy levels to be up, like when exercising, cleaning, or even giving a presentation, 
upbeat music can give you the lift you need. Consider using music when you're getting ready in the morning as a way to get your day off to the right beat. Improve sleep. Listening to classical or relaxing music an hour before bedtime can help create a sense of relaxation and lead to improved sleep. Calm road rage. Listening to music you enjoy can help you feel less frustrated with traffic and could even make you a safer driver. Improve your mental game. Playing an instrument can actually help your brain function better. Faster reaction times, better long-term memory, even improved alertness are just a few of the ways playing music can help. Studies also have shown that children who learn to play music do better at maths and improve language skills. Reduce medical anxiety. Feeling stressed about an upcoming medical procedure? Consider using music to calm those jitters. Put your earbuds in and listening to your favorite tunes while sitting in the waiting room can ease anticipated anxiety before a medical procedure, such as dental procedure, MRI or injection. Ask your healthcare provider if music is available to be played in the room during certain procedures, like a colonoscopy, manogram or even a cavity filling. Using music in these situations distracts your mind, provides a positive experience and can improve your medical outcome. And as Horace Leaf wrote, individual experiment is called for. This does not require much technical knowledge, but patience and common sense. The aim should be to find what kind of music one best responds to, with a view to applying it to the maintenance of good health and curing of maladies. So that can be everyone's homework for this week. Work out what music suits you. Now thinking about the power of healing through music, I came across a lovely album called The Heart of Healing by Karen Drucker with some beautiful tracks. And I chose this one as it's so uplifting. I thought a great song for the beginning of the week. So I'll just line that up now. cell in my body every cell is alive with love i relax into the healing process i allow spirit to do what it does joy fills every cell in my body every cell is alive with love i relax into the healing process i allow spirit to do healing process. 
live in divine well-being now and always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joy fills every cell in my body. Every cell is alive with love. I relax into the healing process. I allow spirit to do spirit to do what it does. Joy fills every cell in my body. Yeah. What a wonderful affirmation. Excellent. <laughs> anyway, do please remember if you want healing or you just need a chat, we're here for you. Whether you can come to the sanctuary for contact healing or wish to have telephone, Skype or Zoom healings, just contact us in the normal way to arrange an appointment. And the details of that are on our website or Facebook page. So do please remember there won't be a healing minute online tomorrow. However, if you wish to still take time to send your healing thoughts in a minute's silence, then please do so. And if you wish for something to help you focus, log on to the chapel webcam. The link is on our website under healing. At 9.55 a.m. UK time, you may see our volunteers sat in the chapel doing the healing minute, even though you won't be able to hear them. This is something we're hoping to remedy when we get a better internet connection. However, do join us online on Wednesday when Gary will be taking the Healing Minute. And remember, as our motto states, wherever you are, we're here for you. So bye for now, everybody. See you next week. Take care. Take care.